Abraham Lincoln was born in a small one-room cabin. His family was very poor and had to move several times, so his childhood was far from perfect. He faced failures and disappointments throughout his whole life. At the age of nine, Abraham lost his mom due to an illness and became heartbroken. Like any child, he missed his mom so much. But a year later, his father married a widow with three children, and Abraham became so fond of her and so close to her that he called her mother. She was able to fill the enormous void in his life after the loss of his biological mother. Abraham Lincoln was not very fond of the physical labor that came with the farm life, but he loved to read. And because he had to stay home to help rather than go to school, he only had one year of formal schooling. But that did not mean that he stopped learning and improving his mind. He basically educated himself by borrowing books and studying on his own. He read every book he could get his hands on. He never attended college, and even his law degree was a result of self-education. He had a lifelong interest in learning. His life was filled with failures, disappointments and defeat, but he decided to never give up. He was born in poverty, he lost his mom, he lost his job, he lost eight elections, he failed twice in business. The second time he had to borrow money from a friend to start his business, but he failed and went bankrupt. So he spent the next 17 years of his life paying off this debt. He was engaged to a beautiful lady who he loved dearly, but his fiancé died and he became heartbroken. Because of that, he suffered a total nervous breakdown and spent six months in bed. He then got married and had four sons, but he lost three of them. They never reached adulthood, only one survived. After many losses, many rejections, many disappointments, many failures, he was elected as President of the United States. His success story is a living proof that you can be born with no advantages and fail many times, but still achieve amazing things and actually make a difference. Nothing and nobody can stop you from learning and improving, so don't accept the limitations of your birth. Because the best way to predict your future is to create it. Take one day at a time and believe that with hard work and not giving up, great things will eventually come. I'm a slow walker, but I never walk back. So, what's your story? 